So this is the first video in a series that we're going to be looking at uh, working with inside of Plant 3D. First thing you need to know is how Plant 3D works. Well, Plant 3D uh, is a complete piping design software. It takes the PNIDs, uh, the piping, and the steel and makes them all part of a database. Uh, the database can be SQLite if you've got like a one, two, three person project, uh, or if you've got a bigger project, you can do SQL Server. Um, and if you do uh, a project on Plant 3, I mean on BIM 360, it actually brings the database into the cloud and manages it with inside of there. Um, so with inside of Plan 3D, when you first open it up, you'll see uh, pretty much everything's grayed out. You can't you can't really access much in here, uh, but you do have access to the project manager, and this is where you will access a lot of your files. Actually, you'll access almost all your files in here. Uh, everything from your drawings, you know, whether they're PNIDs, whether they're ISOs, orthos, uh, piping design models. Uh, this is where you access your pipe specs. Um, you know everything with inside of here. I know that we are so used to going into uh, Windows Explorer, opening up the file, bringing it in to AutoCAD. Well, Plan 3D has mitigated that and allowed you to look at all your files with inside of this uh, folder structure, uh, with inside of the Project Manager. Now you can set it up uh, multiple different ways. You can do it by areas. You can do it by um, you know disciplines. Whatever you want to do, whatever your folder structure is, uh, they do give you the ability to uh, modify and uh, store those files where you want them to be stored. So there's not really any reason why you have to. Um, you know change your folder structure or the way you've done things in the past uh, it just manages it for you now that being said it does take a little bit more setup time to do it um, so just kind of be mindful that plant 3d you're going to have to have a CAD administrator a CAD manager uh, that can set this up first. You, un unlike CAD works, you can't just go in there, start working, and then fix it later. You kind of have to have everything set up beforehand and properly before you start modeling or before you start do de uh, dealing with your uh, PNIDs. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up a project. So what you need to do is come over here and you'll on your default project uh, with inside of your project manager you'll go to def uh, uh, to new project sorry and uh, so you'll click on new project now here's a list of all the other projects that uh, we have access to or we have worked on um, if you're working off of a plan 3d I mean a BIM 360 model uh, you can open it up with inside of the collaboration project uh, and it'll load those up for you uh, and let you choose which one you want to load. Uh, when you do those, those will load a cache file inside of your C drive and that's kind of where you'll access them, uh, access, access your files and then when you save or close out that drawing it'll check it back into um, the uh, uh, BIM 360. If any of them, anyone ever used Vault uh, it works on the very similar um, premise. So we're going to go to New Project. And then it brings up this dialog right here. Now you can see that Project Setup Wizard. Uh, we've got six pages we got to go through. Nothing too arduous um, or anything. So we're going to uh, start out with a name. Very important. Name of the project. Uh, we're going to call this can crazy p 3d yeah project okay any description you want to pull on there 
this is a good time to do it you know say hey this is for you know whatever uh create a vault no we're not going to do a vault on this project um there's no reason because well this is for demo purposes but you if you can if you if your company is using vault you can go ahead and set it up here and uh, set everything up here now if you're using bim 360 what i have found is it's really good to go ahead and set everything up locally uh, whether it's on your C drive or whether it's on your um, network drive, go ahead and set it up and then uh, upload it to the project. So that way you have like a, uh, you know, it's a little easier to work on and to modify and then just upload everything all at one time. Uh, so where are we going to save these? We're going to bring this over. It keeps loading up on my other pages here. So we're going to go to our D drive and we're going to go to, um, let's create a new folder real quick. We're going to do this as um, AutoCAD P3D. There we go. And we're going to drop it right in here. So this is where all of our projects are going to live uh, for this uh, task so we're going to hit OK or open uh, if we have another project we want to copy from uh, say you go ahead and create a template uh, project which I would suggest doing for your company is go ahead and set up your template how you like things organized and arranged and and stored uh, you can copy that from an existing project um, and then you know It'll say where you grab the XML file for that project file, and it will copy those settings uh, for you. Um, there's a lot of settings with inside of Plan 3D, so once you get it set up, especially for a client, uh, I would really suggest going ahead and keeping that one as a, uh, a template, and then you can copy that from that point on. That way you don't have to reset things up over and over again. So we're going to hit OK or Next, and then we're going to go Imperial or Metric. Um, you know, so you, you know, we're in the states. I'm in the states, so we're going to choose Imperial. Uh, go Next. Okay, do we want to do a PIP standard, uh, or do we want to do ISA standard? Uh, this is for the PNID settings. Um, we're just going to do PIP. You know, it it's nice and easy. Um, the, where are the drawings going to be saved? That's the next question. Okay, so the default is with inside this project and a folder called PNID drawings. Uh, if you have another folder structure that you want that to stay in, uh, then you can go ahead and change that. Now later on, if you go, okay, well, that's not where we want it. We want it over here. You can change that also later on in the project. So we're just going to keep it right here for simplicity's sake. And we're going to hit next. Okay, we're already at four or six. Uh, specify Plant 3D directory settings. Okay, where are the Plant 3D models going to, uh, you know, stay? You know, again, it's with inside this project right here in a folder called Plant 3D models. Um, you know, if you want to save it by discipline, uh, you can. Uh, and I'll show you that how to do that later uh, probably on a different video it's too deep in uh, for for this one uh, specs you know where you want your spec sheets saved uh, your orthographic uh, directory saved out uh, any supporting files uh, related files that you won't load it up uh, again it kind of gives you it could be spreadsheets word documents anything like that uh, it, it allows you to reference that inside of your project okay so we're going to hit next we're going to keep all these default okay uh, then the database uh, question if you've got a single or one two three member team working on a project SQLite is fine um, you know it it can handle a lot of little uh, jobs but if you got a, a project that has multiple users and it's going to have a lot of users in there, um, 
you know, then you want to use a SQL database. Um, and that gets way into the weeds. You need a database administrator uh, to kind of set things up properly, uh, SQL Server to, to do it. Um, and so, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, this one doesn't allow you to just jump in and start working, as you can tell that what we're working on now. Um, again, if you're using BIM 360, um, once you upload the project to the server, uh, up to BIM 360, then it's going to take over a lot of the uh, database management for you. Um, uh, I had mentioned earlier that it create uh, it drops down a, a cache file for you, um, you know, for your drawings as you uh, work on them. Same thing with the database; it downloads a small little SQL database for you to work with, and every time um, you hit a save or it syncs up, it syncs up back to BIM 360 and amends the main database. So. Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, so right now for this purpose, we're going to just going to SQL, uh, SQL light local database. Uh, we really don't have, you know, anywhere that's, it's going to go. Uh, it's with inside that, that folder structure that we're creating. Uh, so we hit okay. And then we're in the finish, you know, wizards collected enough information, blah, blah, blah. And then you hit finish. And then you just kind of sit there for, you know, depending on if you're loading this up on your C drive or whether you're loading this up on a server. Uh, it just really depends uh, on how long it's going to take. If you're copying it from a different project, you know, and it's on a server, um, it just depends on how long, you know, how fast your connection is. So this was pretty fast. It loaded up. Okay. And you can see that we've got... Uh, our, our project folder here. We have, we have our um, PNID drawings. We have our plant drawings. There's nothing in there right now. Here's our pipe specs. Uh, if you do a def from a default project, uh, uh, Plant 3D has a very big library of PNIDs. I mean, of of specs, and it's going to load up everything in here. It's got some basic ones in here um, you know it's got like you know CS150 you know it's got grooved it's got some pip specs called out in here um, you know some stainless steel specs so it gives you a lot of different specs you don't have to keep all those specs for that project um, again it comes back to your template uh, if you want to go ahead and set up your template and get rid of all these specs and do client specific specs, um, then you can have those, or you can have the client specific specs with some, you know, um, you know, some dummy ones in here for like stainless steel or carbon steel uh, valves um, or, or you know specs that you can use for, as far as placeholders. Um, and then the related files right here. Now, if we go to our um, our drive here, you can see that we've got our Plant 3D folder that was just created. Uh, Plant 3D CAD crazy Plant 3D project, uh, and then these are some of the files that get loaded. So here's the PNID drawing. You know, this is where your PNIDs are going to live. Uh, plant 3D models, you know, uh, you know, here's all your specs, you know, all your spec sheets and stream tables, report templates, and we'll get into all this, you know, later on. Um, this is a very big and intensive software and there's just too much to cover at one time. So if you like this video, if you want to see more, please let me know. Uh, please hit the like, share, and subscribe uh, button. It helps me grow my channel. It helps uh, get information to everyone that needs it. And if you'd like to see something, please let me know, and I'll try to get it on as soon as I possibly can. Thank you.